So as we uh, continue to remove these silver screws, as I've said before, you sort of have to move the legs together so that the shell won't interfere and you won't get in a bind or anything of that sort. And uh, so now I'm removing the two screws out of the front leg. And it's good to have a magnetic screwdriver while doing this because this is in a little bit of an air, or uh, needle nose pliers are also very useful. I'm gonna grab a bigger screwdriver real quick, see if I can get this one to come out with it. There we go. Needle nose pliers, smaller ones anyway, are also a good option to have. But as long as you just have some way to get those screws out or have small enough hands to be able to reach in and pinch them which isn't too hard you should be just fine I gotta bend this dog head down so that I can actually access these two right here one right here is a bit tricky because there's a speaker microphone that is right in the way of this screw if it's setting straight up and I'm trying not to pull on the legs right now that one screw is the only one that's actually supporting the leg onto the robot so I don't want to break that screw hole by doing that. So now as you can see I can pull the leg off. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the two screws out of this. Oh wait. My apologies. I seem to have forgotten that I actually already went ahead and did that. So as you can see now the shell comes right off along with the legs. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and lift this up real quick. There's a little bit of glue holding these two wires into this Plant thing. I apologize for my phone going off. And these plugs run up here, and the only way to be able to actually unplug those is to take a larger screwdriver, such as this one right here, and it is a Phillips screw. You go right into this and you unscrew this uh, little adapter. And there's a large screw there. So, I mean, you can really throw that in any bucket. You're not going to get that mixed in with any other screws. And then, you kind of have to pry this out because it is in there a little firmly. So, let me just real quick grab a box cutter knife. I do not recommend using a knife. However, it's the only thing that I have on hand that's skinny enough to do the job. So, I'm going to go... Carefully, of course, pry this out. See, it's a little stubborn. There's also a little crack here you can just, between this potentiometer and that there that you can use. So, I believe I'm going to put that away. It's, I believe I should have a flathead screwdriver sitting near me at the moment. Wait. Okay, so I'm going to look this up so that I don't damage the cell. And then I'm going to... There. You have to give it a little force because this right here is firmly in there. And then you want to make sure you keep this with the correct one because this one goes to the back and it helps hold those wires in place so that they do not bind with the legs. So now I'll set that to the side and then I'm going to remove 
this little screw, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a tiny screw holding on this little triangular circuit board right here. But I'm going to go ahead and unscrew so that I can remove that circuit board so I can completely remove the legs for this side. You don't have to do this the exact way I'm doing it. You could always go ahead and remove the other legs. And then I'm going to use a magnet and put that screw away. So now I can disconnect this using my flathead screwdriver. Pop this little plug out of place. Remember to be careful so that you don't bend any of the connections or, of course, cut a wire is something you definitely don't want to do. Okay. So now you can see the plug for this leg right here. And that is for the rear. Luckily, these are color coded, although for some reason this plug is white. Normally, they are correctly color-coded. I suppose that during production maybe this one just happened to get a different color plug. So now you can see we have this half of the robot completely removed. So here's one of the legs. So you can go ahead and set those to the side for now. You won't be needing those until reassembly. And of course you have your shell. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do the same for the other side. There is not a triangular circuit board on this side, so you don't have to deal with that. I'm going to real quick cut ahead to after I've removed the silver screws, because that process is exactly the same. So now, as you can see, the dog is bare bones, so to speak. It has the hind legs uh, adapters removed, the legs are all completely removed. The only difference between removing the legs on this side and this side is that you have to unscrew the board for this side, and on this side there's this little thing sticking up the wires will wrap behind that you just lift them up and over from, so there was no real difference there. So now in part three, we are going to finish accessing the gearbox. So part three will be uploaded uh, shortly.